It's the truth. That's quite deluded. I said it's an indicator. I, I'm not sure you focused when I said that if I'm going to look for a religion that's a true religion coming from God, the creator, of course, it's going to be resonant. Like it's, it's going to be a religion that is a popular religion because humans are going to recognize when something is made by someone who is supreme. Like I said, a video created by the most successful YouTuber is going to get a lot of followership and a video youtube video that's made by a beginner is not gonna get a lot of followership so compare that to god and his message his content of course his content is gonna be extremely popular there's no doubt about it because you know it's gonna click with people so a religion being the fastest growing yes that's a huge indicator if not the biggest indicator yeah Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is not Lord. He's a prophet. But if you are a human worshiper, that's your business. Did you study with scholars or on your own? At the age of the internet, you have access to knowledge by scholars at home. I didn't go to school for it, and thank God I didn't. So, yeah. What is God's message? Islam is God's message. It's always been. Islam is not just the religion of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and his followers. No, Islam is the re any any um, monotheistic religion that came from God throughout human history. Basically, any monotheistic religion that believes in the creator of everyone and everything that is classified as Islam. So yeah, Prophet Adam was Muslim, Prophet Abraham was Muslim, fill in the blank. Who created Islam? God did. Abrahamic? I would say that it's the opposite, not that Islam is Abrahamic, Abraham is Islamic. Did Jesus have followers before 30? Followers before he turned 30, you mean? You mean the disciples? You're beautiful, smart, and interesting, so keep talking. Thank you. Appreciate it. Did God say, shall we name it Islam? Oh, that's a very good question. Yes, he did. He said literally in the Quran, um, uh, in Adina, in the Lahil Islam, religion when it comes to God or in God's opinion is Islam. So there you go. And here's a fun fact. When I was comparing religions, um, something inside me, like in my heart, knew that it made no sense to title a religion after the messenger. Think about this for a minute. This is something that almost no one talks about. Me, like if I were a writer, if I was writing a novel, imagine this as a novelist writing a novel and my publisher says, please send it to me, like send it by FedEx or send it by UPS and please give it a title, the novel. So would it make sense that I title my novel UPS after the messenger? Does that make any sense? Or would I choose a title that sums up that sums up the message of the book? Which one makes more sense? So when someone says Judaism, human being, prophet, called or like someone, a human being called Judah. Christianity, named and after someone called, like titled Christ, Buddhism, Buddha, fill in the blank. It makes no sense to me that God Almighty is gonna name his message to humans after the messenger. Messengers come and go. It, like, would it make sense that I, as a novelist, for example, would name my novel 
UPS just because UPS are gonna, you know, deliver the message? No, I'm gonna choose a name that sums up the message. And Islam is the only religion that does that. Islam means total submission to God. Nothing is, is makes more sense when it comes to naming of religions. But to name it after a person, that's egotistical. That's the like it, it comes from ego. So that makes no sense to me. And by the way, not even once did um, Jesus Christ in the Bible say, um, make a church and this religion is called Christianity. The, of course he didn't. That's something that humans after him came up with. Oh, so I was right. It's egotistical. I was right. <laughs> awesome. Sarah, are you married? Nope. Nope. Not married. Nope. <laughs> Same for Islam. Um, nope. Actually, Islam is the only... Um, it's different. Because there's no person named Islam that the religion was named after. Yeah. Do 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 you want to get married? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't wanna complicate life. But if I, if I meet the right person, I'm sure he's gonna change my mind. What prophet was Judaism named after? Uh, you really don't know? Is Judah, and I don't think he was a prophet, but maybe he was. But he was definitely one of the leaders of one of the 12 uh, tribes. You changed mine. Oh, thank you. Jesus is not a messenger. Yes, he is. He's one of God's mightiest five messengers. He's a prophet. I'm sorry, I'll see you. I smile so pretty. Um, thank you. <sighs> Judaism is a revelation, not religion. Judaism is a religion and it's not an ethnicity. Someone broke my heart. No. Judaism was named after the Judeans. <laughs> really? Judah is a name of a person.